Hi and welcome to this tutorial on how to install a Windows application on your Mac. Uh, today we're going to uh, install uh, Wine Bottler on uh, Mac OS 10 Snow Leopard, uh, which I'm running. Uh, it will also work on uh, Leopard and on uh, Lion Systems too. Um, <clears throat> uh, you can also install uh, Crossover. Uh, there are various versions. There are crossover trial version, crossover standard version, crossover games, and crossover professional, which includes crossover games. Uh, we are going to use Wine Butler. Uh, it is uh, a free alternative to crossover. Uh, most applications uh, run uh, through uh, both crossover and Wine Butler. Um, as you can see, I have uh, FL Studio 10 installed as an application on my Mac. Um, this is done through Wine Butler. Uh, I have tried installing FL Studio 9 uh, through Wine Butler as an application, uh, but at the moment this isn't working. Uh, I'll try to find a solution for that. Um, Maybe I will show that in my next tutorial where I will show you how to install uh, FL Studio on your Mac. Uh, let's get started. Uh, first we're going to open our browser and uh, make a Google search for Wine Butler. And you select the very first link. And uh, as soon as you click uh, download Wine Butler or this download button here, um, the program is starting to download. Uh, you can see the version is 1.1.44, uh, which is the latest release. Uh, you can um, set the program to automatically update when there's a new version available. Um, you must be aware this is for Intel only, so if you have a PPC, um, if you are Power Mac G3, G4 or G5 uh, system running uh, Leopard, uh, it isn't working for... Wine Butler isn't a program working on these machines, only Intel. Okay, as soon as you downloaded the, the program, you will go ahead and uh, open it. Um, you will, you know, if you download through Safari, it would open automatically. Uh, but if you, if it doesn't, you have to open it manually. And uh, these two files, Wine and Wine Butler, are application files. You're going to drag them into your applications folder. And um, afterwards. You are pretty much ready to go. You can open up the applications folder and uh, open Wine Butler, or you can use uh, Spotlight and search for Wine Butler. As you can see, I have uh, one existing prefix for my FL Studio 10. Um, you can also install uh, pre made prefixes for. Uh, Instant Explorer or Steam, Winamp, or whatever application there is here. Um, you can make it a silent install, so you so the so Wine Butler will do everything for you except uh, agreeing the license uh, that you have to do manually. You just select the application you want to install and uh, double click it or press install. Uh, I have tried installing Instant Explorer 8. Uh, it installs fine and opens, but it's for some reason, it won't connect to the internet. Uh, you can also create a, a custom prefix where you uh, press select file and then you tell your system where the files are, where the installation file for your program is. If you have um, a f program uh, as a standalone file, uh, I know uh, some software you can download as a zip archive or winr archive uh, where you get the folder where everything is necessary where every, every fi all files for which are necessary for the program to run are in and then you select this and uh, then it will copy the 
all the file the exe file you select here and uh, make an application file through it. Uh, that you can use something called wine tricks. I don't know what it is. Some it's something for installing. You have a prefix a prefix template. You know you can create your own. Uh, then you have uh, self contained. This is uh, <coughs> if you want to. Uh, is, if I'm running FL Studio 10 on my uh, Mac. Uh, let's say I want to uh, install to copy my trial. A version of uh, FL Studio 10. I want to make an application file for that and give it to a friend, just the demo version. Uh, and just in case he doesn't have a wine or wine bottler or crossover installed, I can select this and it will include uh, all the necessary files for wine to run. And um, it will run without, without installing wine. Um, Yes, that's pretty much uh, what you need to get going with the uh, wine bottler. You can also uh, double click your exe files. I will show you if a Studio 9 file I have ready here. If you double click the installation file, you get this window. Then you can run it directly from, pref from a prefix folder. Uh, you can see here library applications support wine prefixes FL Studio. This is uh, the prefix created for FL Studio 10, or you can convert it to a uh, application, just that what I did with uh, FL Studio 10. Uh, um, you can do, you can select what you want um, and press go, and um, I will show you here. You can see I have got this wine glass up here in my taskbar. And down here, the X11 tools for macOS has uh, started up. And here we have the setup wizard for FL Studio 9. Uh, as you can see, it it works. Uh, under macOS, um, this will give some some errors when uh, trying to install FL Studio 9. About six or seven error or error messages. Just click OK to them, and uh, afterwards you're ready to go. That was it for now. Uh, please uh, visit my channel to watch my other tutorials. Um, the next tutorial, number two, will be about uh, installing FL Studio both version 9 and version 10 on uh, macOS systems uh, using WineBotler. Uh, you can use crossover if you want, uh, the procedure is almost the same. Uh, there are a lot of uh, tutorials on YouTube on how to uh, install through crossover and launch it. Uh, just search uh, FL Studio Mac or FL Studio Crossover Mac, whatever. Yes, uh, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching.